Duma, the last rebel held town near Damascus to fall. The city that has been the heart of the rebellion against the government since 2012 keeps a lot of secrets. A building buried underground to avoid shelling, networks of tunnels stretching for miles, and underground warehouses and hospitals. But the town's most haunting secrets are related to the chemical attack on April 7th. We're standing at the entrance of a basement in Duma town. Locals are telling us that this is one of the sites that were hit with chemical agents on April 7th when the alleged chemical weapons attack took place on this town. We're going down to this basement and according to locals and according to medical sources that we spoke with here, more than 10 people were killed, suffocated in this place. We can see some stuff that would indicate that children were in this place, some school, school books also here. The Syrian army announced it regained control over the town on Saturday. Since then, life in Duma has slowly regained some of its normal rhythms. Amid the ruins of the city, people struggle on, having survived one of the worst events in the seven-year conflict. This medical center is where the injured from last week's attack were treated. What happened last Saturday is that we got several suffocation cases coming in caused by debris and fires and fumes. And many people were staying in the basements. And we tried to treat them, but what happened is that we had some activists coming in, whom I don't know, and they spread a rumor that these were gas injuries and chemical injuries. But when we treated them, we didn't find such symptoms. As the residents start putting their lives back together, recaptured parts of the city reveal the preparations the rebels made here. Networks of tunnels, thousands of motor shells, and elaborate underground hideouts. The basement near us was used as a bomb shelter. Almost all of those inside died. We went to the medical center and we found the rest there. The Syrian military says it has now purified this region of terrorists. Residents queue for loaves of bread from the government and hope for a lasting peace. Allah Ibrahim, CGTN, Duma.